Hey, hey. Distance learning. Mr. Hamilton coming at you. April 16th is today. I took a look at some of important people that have birthdays on the 16th. A lot of a uh, lot of people here. This Martin Lawrence. Remember uh, watching some movies from him. Pretty funny dude. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, unbelievable basketball player. Fun to watch him. Uh, but Chance the rapper. So the name is Chance. Love it. Can't get enough of that. Um, and uh, I thought, you know, just in order to start off, I might, uh, to honor Chance a little bit, I might do a little bit of, perform a little of my freestyling. I know you guys know that Mr. Parker and I do a lot of freestyle battling back and forth. And so, yeah, I thought I'd just give you a quick little deal about uh, what we're talking about. Maybe a little freestyle. So um, today's lesson is on matrices. So uh, let's give her a whirl. So matrix, matrix, what is it? Ain't just a movie, y'all got to quit. Wow, it's actually a pretty decent movie. Second one isn't very good. Third, I mean, it's something to watch, whatever. Order and elements is what we'll learn. Sauce me some Delta math. It's time to earn. Boom. I, I guess that's kind of what they say when it's done. So anyways, just giving you a little flavor of, of what it is that we're talking about today in honor of uh, Ch Chance the Rapper. So... Today, our, our, our unit is going to talk about something called the matrix. And a matrix is basically a big box of numbers. And we uh, give this uh, a shorthand for taking a table. So if you can look at the notes here, you can see in the example here, I have the 2004 National High School Rodeo Finals, barrel racing scores, by the way. And so there's two people, two participants, and then there's first, second, and third ride scores. So we one, one way to represent data is through a table. Another way is using a matrix. So if you look down here, we label this matrix A. It's got some brackets around it, and it has six numbers in it. These six numbers correlate to the rides of these two participants in the rodeo. So the first thing you got to know is what a matrix is. It's just a list of numbers, and we're going to now define some things in this matrix. So the order to describe it matters when we hear the word order. That's talking about how many rows and columns it has. M by N, M times N. That's what this is right here. That is going to stand for M. This first number is going to stand for how many rows it has, and N is how many columns. This is called the order of a matrix. Example that I have to show you here is this first one. This is what we call a two by three. So we always list the rows first. We count how many rows there are. This is first row, second row, and then we count how many columns. One, two, three, three columns. And so then the order of this is a two by three. Let's move this down just slightly here. The elements have addresses that locate them in the matrix. So each number in the matrix is called an element and it has an address, just like uh, your house might have an address or we find um, a description of where to locate each one of these. So the addresses of each of these spots has to do with each row and column it's in. And we identify that using a lowercase. So here's three examples, little a for matrix A that uh, refers to the element or the address and two, one, two stands for second row. The first number you see is the row. The second number you see is the column. So they identify the element in each address. So for this first example here, number one, A, two, one. Second row, first column. So that's going to be 16. So if we identify A, two, one, that's equal to 16. That's the element in the matrix A of the second row first call. If we look at number two here, A13, we're looking for first row, third column. So first row, remember these are the rows, they go horizontally, first row, third column, In this case would be 19. If I skip down to the third one, a little bit spicier, second row, fourth column. So here's your second row, first, second, third. I noticed there is not a fourth column. So if there's not a fourth column, we can say not possible, undefined, or null set. Okay. 
the basically all I have for you here is just a few more practice problems just to get us going today. So we're going to talk about dimensions. Here is the matrix. What are the dimensions of M? So we're going to count up how many rows and columns. We'll make sure we put it in that order. There are three rows, four columns. So matrix A, matrix M has three rows by four columns. Now make sure you understand that that is a different than four by three. Four by three would be four rows and three columns. Be a matrix, it looks slightly different. Letter B is what is the entry or element at M32? So that's third row, first, second, third, second column right here as 11. And the last one, letter C, the entry zero appears at what two addresses? So if I use my highlighter here, zero appears here and here. So the two addresses, I'm gonna use little m to stand for matrix at big M. And zero appears at the second row. So I'll use subscript here, third column. And little m, first row, fourth column. And the order you put these in doesn't matter. The order you put these numbers in, the one and four and two and three does matter. So that's it, you guys. Um, all done with matrices today. Wanted to make sure you just understand rows and columns. We're talking about order. We're talking about elements. And uh, we've got a couple problems for you guys to do on Delta Math. So uh, that's it, you guys. Until next time, stay clean, my friends. Wash your hands, disinfect your phones, and most importantly, be kind.